Hello Glass Industry, it's Mark from Glass Open Book and look what I've got here. This is just a regular glass vial and it contains a liquid pharmaceutical product. Let's open it up. Glass is an important material for pharmaceutical packaging. Packaging is defined as the element which surrounds the product from the stage of production to its final use. Pharmaceutical products containing pills, liquids and medications in other forms need proper wrapping and glass containers are usually the first choice of packaging materials. There are some strong reasons for that. Firstly, for pharmaceutical products it is advised to prevent exposure to light, ultraviolet rays, gases and moisture, because if it does, then it can have dangerous consequences. Glass packaging does none of that, making it a number one pharma packaging material. Secondly, its high transparency allows easy inspection of its contents. And thirdly, glass containers can be easily sterilized using heat. Did you know that there are four types of glass containers used in the pharmaceutical industry? Their difference is based on the degree of hydraulic resistance to water attack. For example, type 1 glass containers, borosilica glass, contains 80% silica, 10% boric oxide, small amount of sodium oxide and aluminium oxide. It is chemically inert and possesses high hydraulic resistance due to the presence of the boric oxide. It has the lowest coefficient of expansion and so has high thermal shock properties. Type 1 glass is most widely used in the pharma industry. It can also be used to contain strong acids and alkalis. Type 2 glass containers, soda lime silica glass, has a high hydraulic resistance resulting from suitable treatment of the inner surface of a regular soda lime glass with sulfur. It also has a lower melting point when compared to type 1 glass and so easier to move. They are suitable for most acidic and neutral aqueous preparations, whether parenteral or non-parenteral. Type 3 glass containers, regular soda lime glass with average chemical resistance. It contains 75% silica, 15% sodium oxide, 10% calcium oxide, small amount of aluminium oxide, magnesium oxide and potassium oxide. Aluminium oxide impacts chemical durability while magnesium oxide reduces the temperature required during molding. They are used as packaging material for parenteral products or powders for parenteral use only where there is a suitable stability test data indicating that type 3 glass is satisfactory and it is also used in packaging of non-parenteral preparations. Type 4 glass containers – general purpose soda lime glass. This type of glass containers has low hydraulic resistance and is not used for products that need to be autoclaved as it will increase erosion reaction rate of the glass container. It is used to store topical products and oral dosage forms. The work behind development of pharmaceutical glass packaging is incredible, because so much has to be thought over and properly tested. For example, we all know that some medicines can also harm if they are taken in very high quantities. That is why pharmaceutical companies design a special type of packaging, which prevents leakage and spilling. Proper containment of drugs can save lives. Also, good packaging should prevent children from accessing the content. Kids are naturally curious and they always try to grab things and put them in their mouth. This is not good when it comes to medications and drugs. So, to solve this problem, pharma packaging manufacturers are inventing protective mechanisms that make it almost impossible for a child to open. Speaking of pharma packaging manufacturers, on Glass Open Book we have a French company, SGD Pharma, that is a global leader in the manufacture of high-quality glass primary packaging. 
Recently, they launched a new full packaging solution dedicated to the CBD oil market, called Enzimo. A glass dropper and bottle offering that meets all international regulatory standards. Let's give them a call and they will tell everything in more detail. We will call Najet, who is the Senior Product Marketing Manager at SG Pharma. Najet, glad to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you too. How is it going? Very well. What about you? Well, it goes quite well. Thank you for asking. I'm currently working on a video about the importance of glass packaging in the pharmaceutical industry. You are clearly an expert in this topic, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for uh, giving us this uh, opportunity to speak. Not so long ago, HD Pharma added a new product on Glass Open Book called Enzimo. You're right. How was the product launch? Well, uh, it's going very well. Could you give a quick introduction of the product, just in a few words? Yeah, so we, we developed uh, Enzimo to meet the global demand uh, for CBD uh, market that is, uh, as you know, booming in all yes. the region. Uh, the growth is expected to, um, to continue uh, at a double digit uh, rate until 2022. So we had to, to design the, um, a specific uh, offer to, to capture the, fun, to respond actually to the needs of customer and as you said uh, you mentioned pharmaceutical packaging and it's true that there is a strong need uh, for compliant packaging for this market designed with uh, pharmaceutical experience in mind the, the drivers uh, of uh, this market is uh, or is well, there are several drivers but the main one uh, is is a move um, by government toward legalizing cbd and I have to mention that yesterday the European Court of Justice has uh, made uh, a major decision on this topic, a major decision for the CBD European market. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's a major uh, step forward for, for the industry. Yeah, these are excellent news for SGD Pharma. I just would like to precise uh, that uh, CBD is today in Europe mainly packaged in amber glass droppers. So more than 50% of the products that are sold are in amber glass dropper. So mainly for um, stability reason, uh, the fact that the, the CBD molecule is very uh, sensitive to, to light and oxygen. And so amber glass is, uh, is really the, the best um, packaging for that. And on the top of that, uh, it is inherent to glass as the fact that it is in, in, infinitely recyclable. Thank you, Najet, for this quick presentation of the new product. If you want to learn more about the Enzima product, feel free to find everything on Glass Open Book or on SGD Pharma's website, where there are amazing brochures with all the specs, images, and further information about the products. We are super proud to have your company on Glass Open Book and to be a platform where you showcase your brilliant products. And I think one day we may even make a full comprehensive overview of the company, like we do on our channel. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you very much, Mark, for uh, giving us the ground. And we will be very happy to uh, do a, a global company overview uh, with you. All right, I don't mind at all. So thank you and wish you a nice day. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Najet, for this interview. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.